So last week I posted a video on a 99 overall Russell Westbrook build. You know, we were shooting threes, isoing, dunking out people, doing the typical stuff that we do on NBA player build videos. But I decided to keep this gameplay separate against a superstar two offensive threat. So before we get into the video, comment down below what you think is the best point guard build in the game. A lot of people think the playmaker shot creator, the offensive threat, or in my opinion, I think this two-way slashing playmaker is the best, man. But let's take a look at the build. If you saw this in the last video, uh, you know, from last week, you can skip ahead. But I just want to show you guys what we're working with in this gameplay, okay? So as you can see, 91 ball control. You can speed, uh, speed boost all the time. The defense is crazy. The rebounding is insane. The three-point shot is a 72, so they have to respect like that and the driving dunk is a 92 overall the build is just it's so versatile and you're gonna see in the gameplay what separates this from the playmaker shot creator or the offensive threat is the defense it is insane how much you can lock people down so it's like even if you do end up losing the ball you're gonna be able to lock people down and get the ball back on the playmaker shot creator or the offensive threat depending on how you make it sometimes people make it so they do get a couple defensive badges but it's not like this this build can get hall of fame defensive badges you get 22 defensive badges and on top of that the offense is still very very viable you can speed boost all the time hall of fame playmaking badges as you can see floor general dimer all that stuff to help your teammate out perfect for iso situations or for pick and pop situations perfect build for those defensive badges as you can see i mean even the rebounding is insane so if your teammate misses if you're going against another point guard you're gonna you're gonna out rebound them almost every single time this build was getting rebounds over centers and stuff if you watched my video from last week but like I said, comment down below what you think is the best point guard build in the game, and let's get into this gameplay. So we were just chilling, streaking, just trying to get some clips and some gameplay for the 99 overall Westbrook build video. If you didn't watch that from last week, make sure you guys go check that out after this video, man. That video was actually pretty insane what this build is capable of. So as you can see, we were on the court. These dudes stepped on the dots, and as soon as we saw the backpack, we knew, all right, he's at least an SS2, and of course he was, and he was an offensive threat. Now, in terms of point guard builds, you could make the argument, you know, playmaker shot creators or offensive threat are the best offensive build but i think overall this two-way slashing playmaker is it the ability to defend and rebound really sets it apart from the offensive threat and the playmaker shot creator of course it depends how you make the build where you put your attributes where you put your badges and stuff but just overall builds i feel like this is the most well-rounded point guard build and you're gonna see in this gameplay even when we give the ball away it's just so easy to get it back and it's not like you know this dude doesn't know what he's doing he's a ss2 offensive threat 97 overall he obviously has a clue on how to play the game but it's just look at that ball control being able to speed boost like that with the athleticism and the finishing badges that you get on this build it's a perfect build to iso on i said it in my last video on this build if you didn't watch the wager between Lamonsta and Ticino, definitely go check that out because he uh, Lamonsta shows this build off perfectly what it's capable of. It's so effective on both sides of the ball. Look at hop step, get him jumping. I tried to go in for the layup, but they gave me a pull up, but we make it anyways. Now, for those of you that have been around for a while, before 2K20 dropped and we were looking at the tweets and the news leaks and all that stuff that we were getting, I predicted that the days of where slashers just being like fun builds or highlight builds was going to be gone and slashers were going to be really really effective this year and i don't mean to toot my own horn but god damn was i right i mean these slashing builds this year are insane and it just so happens even when it comes to takeover slashing takeover is the best takeover in the game it's the most overpowered takeover to score now on this build in particular that austin made he gave it playmaking takeover the only thing i would change about this build is giving it slasher takeover the playmaker takeover is fun you're gonna see actually uh catches some ankles and stuff with it it is fun but i feel like slashing takeover is just it's just better the blow buys are better and then obviously it helps you get more contact dunks and stuff like that which this year honestly is a really good way to score people are just straight booming on people all day long all right so check out this play we're up 10-0 everything's going well check it out behind the back here they try to switch we go into a nice little cradle reverse park dunk it is a thing of beauty so judging from that play we could just tell they they're trying to switch now they realize the offensive threat has no chance his defense just is not good enough he could play perfect defense and he's still gonna struggle to get a stop so check it out once they switch i try to throw a quick dot but they get there in time thinking we're gonna reset but my lockdown's like nah he can't even guard me never mind guard you so it's like a build that doesn't even have really any offensive ability besides maybe you know he could catch and shoot three pointers but besides that he's not really an offensive build he could still murder the offensive threat he can't do that to a two-way slashing playmaker 
I'll end up getting a rip or bumping him, making him pick up his dribble. I'll be able to get a stop. Now you might say, but Joe, your main build is a facilitating finisher with only one defensive badge. And that is true. But you also have to realize my LeBron build is 6'7", so I'm, t I'm way taller than these playmaking shot creators and these offensive threats. I have a 90 strength and I have max wingspan. So I have all these things that help me at least play adequate defense. Not saying I'm a lockdown or anything like that, but these offensive threats and these playmaking shot creators, you know, they're like 6'2", 6'3", maybe 6'4", with barely any defense, they just have no chance. Check it out. Playmaker takeover, momentum behind the back, between the legs, come this way, snatch back, pick up that penny for me. Momentum crossover, drive to the rack, windmill 360 over both of them. I mean, it's just straight spectacular. It's it's so fun to play on, but it's still such an effective build. Now you would think, all right, 20-0, we got takeover, game over. Nah, he plays the passing lane. We get kind of a bad pass animation, to be fair. They get the ball back, but check it out, man. We already gave the ball up one time earlier in the video. I don't know if you guys caught it. I missed a layup. They, the offensive threat got the rebound, and I immediately stripped him. I immediately stripped him, went back up, and put it back in. You might have missed it. If you blinked, you probably missed it. But these dudes went to the pick and pop. He was wide open and missed. I'm going to drive and go between the legs and miss a dunk. So they get the ball back yet again. But check it out, man. But on the screens, I could fight through or I could switch. Here we're going to switch. He's going to ball fake. My lockdown backs up just a little bit, and this dude hits a big white. So 20 to 3. Game should be over by now, but it's all good. We just got to get one stop now one thing that's really nice also like i said besides the defense is the rebounding and check this out we can play sides because i can get onto the center check it out we play sides i hedge back i get down they kick it out they're gonna reset my lockdown is gonna give them a little bit of space kind of a tough shot over a lockdown but look it the fact that i can get box out and get the rebound even against a glass lock or against a paint beast or anything like that is really really nice because usually it's like if you switch on an offensive threat or a play shot, it's an easy board for the center, but not on this build, man. So we take those guys down, and then I get error coded and sent to the main menu. But hey, what else is new in NBA 2K20? But listen, this is a little shorter video than usual. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you didn't see my other video on this Westbrook build, make sure you go check that out. I posted it last week. But drop a like. Subscribe if you guys are new. I appreciate y'all watching. I'm out. Peace.